welcome back to Nerd Chic. I am going to do a quick tutorial on number one, embedding your live stream site into your website, what you need to do to get yourself ready on the brand new YouTube studio because there's some changes. So I want to make sure that you guys can see that. The first thing is when you get into here, so you're in studio, let me go back one just to show you where I started out. So let's go back to uh, manage. And so I say I'm in here in manage, I'm not live streaming at this point. And I've got this one set up as what I'm about to do, or I'm starting a new one. You go into stream, and first off, if you can't find the studio, all you need to do is put your channel information in this part of the bar, studio.youtube.com channel, and then your info, this is your name of what your channel is, or the weird characters that means your name. So then after that, just put this piece right here, forward slash live streaming, forward slash manage. You can go right in. That's the easiest way to get into it if you don't know. And I just I put a little star on mine, so I've bookmarked it, so I can go back to streaming easier than trying to find it in the studio controls. Now, back into here. Let's say we just go in here and we want to do a new stream. You can always go back to Classic for now. It's going to go away at the end of April of 2020, so it may already be gone by the time you're watching this. If you're in the new one, go into Stream, and you can do a new stream, or you can be on the one that I just did, or one you've already got set up. So this is if you're setting up a new stream, you can schedule it for later, you can enable monetization, make sure that you let folks know whether or not it's for kids. If it's for kids, it won't get monetized the same. So um, make sure you get all that in here. Or I'm gonna go back to this one where I'm managing it because really I wanna go through this quick. So this is one I've already set up and you'll see it tells you all this information you'll need for your streaming software services. Be sure to get that. But now we're in here and it's the embed settings. So the first thing is go back, go up to the little gear icon that's beside go live and whatever. Hit the gear icon, bring it up, and then inside of here, you've got to enable it to be able to be embedded. So if this is turned off, you won't be able to embed it anyway. So first thing is, is embed it and then click save. And once it's saved, now you can embed your live streams. And that's something I would just keep going all the time, right? The next thing is go right here to share. And inside of share, you see the code where you can send the link? Well, look down here. Right on the bottom of that, it says embed. Right there it is. Embed. And boom. Grab the whole iframe. Copy, paste it. And then drop that into your page. And boom. Guess what? You've got your live stream now. And so I've done another video on how to get the live chat. And you can add that in as well. It's a separate piece. Um, so grab that tutorial. Um, it's in my YouTube tutorials right here on my channel. And if you've got any questions about this tutorial, put it in the comments. If you've got any requests for new tutorials, put it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel here at NerdCheek. We have so much more coming as well as I'm about to do a new tutorial on embedding YouTube videos after they're done so you can put them in posts and blogs and stuff like that and how to automate it so guys keep watching